question is let's say in live environment you are working for a project right so we follow two weeks of window right so two weeks of window we call it as release or sprint whatever we call it as correct everyone here yes. now yes. okay yes. we are at uh, maybe 14th 13th day okay that means we are at end of release where we are five people and you are one of the developer okay the the other developer is on leave he, he suddenly got some illness or he is completely out of uh, office he is not able to reach okay so he was working for a story and okay that story is very important for this current release very important so you have to move it on 14th day and he is not available and your lead asked he, your lead assigned to you okay and that is not a fresh story again it was completed something and then you need to take from there right so now you took the story okay the question is how you proceed it when you say proceed it here logic one more condition here is okay you don't know or first thing is you don't know what how far it is completed and he is not reachable and you need to complete it might be a small story or big story whatever it is but this is your situation okay so developer not available and what is other other condition you don't know how much it is completed okay so here where you are how you need to complete it you should not take a formal leave okay now this is your situation you came and said sir uh, i just fallen sick so i can't do it i'm going home so don't call me for one day that option is not there unfortunately just give me a minute more question came like uh, okay sir let's say if i call him okay can i get the information the immediately he say he is in coma <laughs> no so <laughs> you need to understand the story you can text him you can whatsapp him you can do video call also but uh, he he is not able to attend it so now sir, this... sir, can i yes no can i means yeah. who is that can i murali krishna sir <laughs> murali krishna okay now this is the situation ma you can all give your answers but let's discuss it this is yeah can i whoever can i please yeah. first we need to uh, study the, uh, what is the stories and what is the okay. requirement the then uh, then we need to open that uh, update set uh, and uh, we need to observe what uh, what are the stories he completed in the he captured in the update set then okay. we have to open that uh, uh, what are the development things he did uh, for example catalog item we need to open in catalog item we need to check uh, is that everything is completed or not uh, what he come uh, captured in our update set then we need to proceed the remaining part of the requirements maybe that is the one of the ways and also on the story there will be a comments right i mean whenever uh, we are making any changes related to that story we will be updating in the comments very good what else so here till this point all four are very nice points i can agree when we say update sets okay as per this story maybe there are few configurations where they are not captured in the update set then you went to, this is the first important thing understand the story very good read the comments of the story like if he captured anything like okay <coughs> today he created this maybe he is a best he is following some best practice so whatever he is completing maybe he is updating in the story okay so let's say we read something in the story so we got something progress kind of right so here you got it here you got it and also you simultaneously open the update set and then check it something okay but the work he did it is not captured in the update set maybe he created two scheduled jobs one dashboard so those two are not captured then till this point answer is right ma i'm just improving it now perform testing on the perform testing required. yeah here you have it you are just checking it check the functionality and then right. uh, determine how much it is yeah, someone told okay that is also a good point for us right open the story if the story is for a catalog item then open the catalog item and then see 
if everything is there as per the story in the catalog item then he finished it if it is missing then you need to finish it up it could be a farm it could be a workflow from there see it is the main idea is like we need to get to know what is we need to do first then we can do what we want to do or we have to do so to find that what we are struggling right so wh what else ma so if if anything is not captured in the update set but still he did it okay how you determined it uh, by using import set by using import set uh, what is import set concept why import set came into picture here that so, is uh, you said if it is not captured in upset, update set uh -huh. then why um, import set came we use xml import xml Yes, yes. Ah, you, yeah. you, we are saying use import XML to move to test, but how you get to know you have to import that particular record or particular configuration to import? I create yes, sir. Uh, actually, if uh, for example, schedule jobs is there, sir. Uh, schedule jobs is not captured in update set. But how you will get mm. to know, you need to go to schedule job table, check for the schedule job and find yeah. whether he created it yesterday or day before yesterday and then take a call that this is belong to the story. That is my question. Okay. See, if you know sir, schedule job, then go and pick it. But how you get to know? That is another question. So, answer it. Yeah, anyone can able to answer it? Ask manager. But Ask how manager. much is completed? The manager is like me, he is technically poor. He only assigns stories. Scrum but master. Is, Scrum master is also BA. He only sir, assigns uh, stories. Can you repeat the question once? The question is, all these answers are right so far okay okay now what about the items that are not captured in the update set that he finished already how you get to know we are using a system this system block syslog what is that syslog system log huh? yes yes system log system log will store everything na If the story related to dashboards are uh, in that story, we need to create the schedule job. Then we go to schedule jobs and uh, created by that uh, that uh, developer, and maybe we will know. So. Yes, ma. So everything is coming from story only. Okay, this is our proof of concept. Proof. No, I don't. I should. I don't know whether I can use that word or not. So this is our proof. So if it demands a dashboard, if it demands a schedule job, then you go to schedule job page, try to create it. Before you create it, you see it. Correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. That's so yes, sir. we need to proceed. So see here, before you see this one or this one, first to understand this one is very, very important. So these two are important first, first point and fourth point. Okay. Then only you can take anything. So after reading, after understanding only, you start seeing the things even update set also uh, it is not some always uh, easy to uh, easy to understand no? let's say you created one table the table will give you 100 uh, entries you can't read each and every entry to understand right it may give you high level okay so created a story created these many dictionary fields so you got something there and you can open the form and see availability of these fields and all so there you see how much he completed and all but not 100 percent you get it right the story is our first point. Clear? Yes, sir. 